Hi all, I'm Aneta. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to quickly align objects by using the quick access toolbar and shortcuts. Let's start. As you can see, the quick access toolbar is placed above the ribbon by default. You have five comments available. You can add another one from the drop down menu. Let's select more comments to see all comments available in PowerPoint. Depending on your needs, you can search for them in an alphabetical order by choosing all comments. You can search for comments that are not in the ribbon. Or you can search for comments by tabs. I've selected the Home tab and now I have a list of all options available in this tab. On the right side, you have the Quick Access toolbar and the default options. Let's select Auto Save and then select Remove as it's much easier to use the shortcut Ctrl S to save the recent changes. Now let's add other options. But before, please take a look at the little icons next to comments. If there is no icon, it means it will be a direct comment. If there is an arrow pointing downwards, it means it will be a collection of functions. And if it's an arrow pointing towards right, it will be a drop-down menu. Let's select Align Objects and add it to our quick access toolbar. As you can see, there are direct comments as well, but it's much better to have a drop-down list, especially if you plan to have a lot of options in your quick access toolbar, as the space in the quick access toolbar is limited. Okay, so let's add other options. So the next one is arrange, then distribute horizontally and vertically. You can also double click on the options Format Painter mm -hmm. and the last two flip vertical and flip horizontal we can access from all comments. So flip vertical and flip horizontal. Okay, so let's move save after flip horizontal and our quick access toolbar is ready. You can always get back to the original default options by selecting reset only quick access toolbar. You can also share your quick access toolbar with somebody else or save it on another computer by using the options export all customizations and import customization file. We will also select this option show quick access toolbar below the ribbon as we have drop down lists which will cover the options in the ribbon. So that's why it's better to have the, sh the quick access toolbar below it. Let's select OK. And now we can start aligning the objects first without using the shortcuts. Let's select the gamepad. Let's bring it to front. Then let's select all the shapes, align them top and distribute them horizontally. Now let's select the gamepad and the middle shape and select align center, align middle. Let's select the bulb as it's upside down and flip it vertically. And now we would like to have the same background in all the shapes. So let's select the middle shape, then select Format Painter and click on the first shape. It's done. Now let's do the same, but using the shortcuts. If you select Alt from the keyboard, you will get letters as the shortcuts for the tabs and numbers as the shortcuts for the quick access toolbar. If I click Alt 1, I will get a drop-down menu with all alignment options available. As you can see, there are letters. And each shortcut is taken from the underlined letter. So these correlations make them much easier to remember. OK, so let's start. So first, select the gamepad, bring it to front. Now, the shapes. Align top and distribute horizontally, the gamepad and the middle shape, the bulb, and Format Painter. Now it's done. Believe me, the shortcuts save a lot of time, especially if you work on a very large presentation. If you would like to add another comment, you don't need to go to more comments again. You can just right click on any option from the ribbon and add it to the quick access toolbar. You can also remove 
given option from the Quick Access Toolbar by right-clicking and selecting Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe!